Uh, hello guys. Today I'm going to teach you how to install the stored CLI daemon, the new version. The old version CLI will be obsolete soon, so everybody need to be upgraded to the new daemon uh, uh, software. So how to install it? Okay, I'm going to teach you on this uh, fresh installing, uh, not the upgrade version from the CLI. Okay, if you have the old CLI version, make sure you uninstall all this software. Okay, remove all the GIT, Git, Python, Node.js, and Visual Community. Remove all these, only we will start um, uh, installing the new storage uh, CLI daemon. Okay, as usual, first thing you need to do is create a counter wallet. Go to counter wallet IO. Okay, create a new wallet, copy out this password, do not forget this password or you will lose your account in this wallet. Once you log in already, you will see only two uh, currency, Bitcoin and XCP. And you don't have a storage uh, SJCX here. Don't worry about it. Because once you get paid, it will automatically uh, pop up this currency here. So you don't have to worry anything. The most important thing is you need to have your address, payout address, they call it. Okay, copy this one. This is what you are getting paid. Don't use Polonix, uh, just use counter wallet. Because if you use Polonix, you, your fund might be missing. And we cannot help you with that. Use, make sure you use counter wallet. Copy this one, save it. Okay, paste it on your counter wallet ID. This is my counter wallet ID already. So you guys, you can copy yourself and uh, save it somewhere. Remember the password, the passphrase, you have to copy down. If you forgot the passphrase, you cannot log into your wallet. Okay. Once you're done ready, you go to this uh, document. I will provide with the link provided by Meiji. This is how you're going to install the CLI daemon. First, we try to install this one first. Make sure you run on CMD. Oh, sorry, you have to install everything from the start. Okay, installing Git. Download the latest version. Okay, 64 bit. Download the 64 bit for Windows. Or oh, this one is for the uh, Raspberry Pi, so you don't go for this, you download this one. Okay, 2.111. One, one. Mine is a bit lower, so I'm going to download the new one. Okay, save it. The next one you're going to download is uh, Node.js. Okay, Node.js you can uh, download from the link here.
install Windows installer 64 bit if you are 32 you click 32 6.95 yeah I have the latest one next one is the Windows build tools okay first thing you're gonna do is install the git first Okay, once you install the git, install the Node.js This one Okay, done. Download node, uh, install node. Okay, once you install node ready, the next one is install this uh, window build tool. Okay, once you're done, run CMD on uh, administrator. Okay, let it run. The next one is install the stored share daemon CLI. Okay, you don't have to worry about Python, they already have built in. The real setting will be uh, after you finish install.
32 uh, bit, I'm gonna use 64 bit. Okay, we just wait. Okay, this is my first time installing a CLI daemon. So I'm not sure how long does it takes. So be patient guys. It looks like I need to install Visual Studio, so it will take some time. I'm gonna pause this video first until we finish, and then I will continue to record. Okay, guys, uh, looks like I'm already installed the Visual Studio. So the next one I'm gonna install is the Notepad. Oh, sorry. I'm going to install the CLI first. Okay, I'm done. Next, I'm going to install the Notepad Plus. Okay. Okay, now it is, this is a setting. Okay, before you set, you go to your uh, router setting. Okay, for this PC, my IP address is uh, 192.168.88.88. My router is 192.168.88.1. Okay, by default, it should be admin, admin. But I, my router, I changed my password. Go to port forwarding. Okay, I have two settings here. One is PC, the other PC. This is the IP. This is my 88 IP address. You can set. You can set it as 4000 to whatever number you want, but I just make it extra. Okay, and this one, you have to key in your, this PC IP address. You cannot key, uh, key in other PC address because other PC address, it will go to another port. You, you, can, you are not allowed to use this port. And then uh, set to TCP and save it. Okay, I have 4051 to 4100, okay. Once you set already, okay, it's time to create a node. First thing you're gonna do is uh, make a folder. Okay, I'm gonna make node one. I'm gonna make two nodes. Okay, leave it empty. Okay, this is the command. I will put it in my link uh, to create a, a node. Okay, you also can find the command in here. Okay, you can copy and paste, but uh, this one might be easier for you if you watch the video.
Okay, uh, CLI run very different things. You need four port altogether. Okay. Okay, if you see my port is uh, on my on my port forwarding, I start on four zero five one, not four zero five zero. So so I'm gonna set start at four zero five one. I have three tunnel tunnel port. So I'm gonna have four zero one two, four zero one three, and four zero one four. Uh, so sorry, 4052, 4054. Okay, this is for first node. And this is my public IP address. Okay, you check your public address. Okay. And this is the size. I will uh, paste the command here on my video link. You just need to change this uh, payout address. This is your payout address and the uh, folder name, drive name, and the size of the hard disk. Okay, successful created. Stop, uh, close it. Okay, and then you see my uh, folder. I have a config file ready, so I'm going to run it. Okay, now I'm going to create second node first. Okay, for second node, uh, you have to create the second node folder, point to this. Okay, this is your payout address. Okay, this is the folder. And this is the config on the second folder. The same thing, your public IP address, but the port are different. So we are using, uh, first node is uh, 4051. 4052, 4053, and 4054. So the next one should be 4055. Then the tunnel port is 4056, 57, and 58. And okay, and the node lock is uh, on the second. So I'm going to create the second uh, for folder first. Oh, sorry, I haven't created the folder. Okay, you are done. So your second folder have config. Okay. Once you have two folder ready, you're going to start to run. How to run it? This is very important. Eh? The command I will uh, post it on my video. First, you have to start the daemon. Okay, daemon is running. And now we're going to start the node. After we start daemon, only we can start the command of the node. We're going to check the status. Okay, it's running. So now I'm going to ask Damon to run my node. Okay, this one pop up. Yes, it's correct. Don't close it. Just minimize. Check the status. Yeah, it's running. Check the port. 
Yes, it's open now. Okay, I'm going to start the second node. Okay, minimize it. Okay, I have two nodes now. Currently, I have one uh, thirty-three bytes of uh, shards. I have ninety-seven peers. So this is how you run your uh, daemon CLI. I'm gonna check the port first. So it should be four zero five five. Yes, it's open already. Okay, so this is how you run your node on uh, CLI daemon. I hope it helps. Uh, if you have any question, you can uh, ask Little Skunk, Hyunlan, and uh, Meiji. So this is how it works. Okay, guys, if you have, uh, I hope you can farm uh more shots with this because uh the daemon is more faster than the gui and use less ram okay that's it guys all the command i will post it uh on my link so you can just copy and uh, adjust your folders and your folders name and uh keep on running and keep on uh farming guys Okay, I have some shots. It's good. Just let it run. Okay, bye-bye guys.